Hello students. Today we will learn some more features of PowerPoint 2010. Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful presentation tool. It helps us to communicate our views and ideas effectively using diagrams, photos, charts, clip art, sounds, colors, designs and animated special effects. Students, if you press F1 key to open the help window in MS PowerPoint 2010. PowerPoint provides additional features to organize information in a tabular format. A table point provides additional features to organize information in a tabular format. A table is a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. In this lesson, we will learn how to insert a table, apply a table style and format the table using various commands. Students, can you quickly recall which type of slide layout appears by default while opening MS PowerPoint? Before we begin, can you let me know what a table is? Let us first learn how to insert a table. To insert a table, click on New Slide drop-down arrow on the Home tab. Select the title and content layout. Click on the insert table icon present on the slide. The insert table dialog box will appear. Define the number of columns and rows. Click on OK. A table will be displayed according to the defined rows and columns. Let me share a few useful tips. Intersection of a row and a column is called a cell. Click on the Insert tab and select Row and a Column is called a cell. Click on the Insert tab and select Table. Then, go to Draw Table option to draw a table. Let us know more. We can insert a table in a slide by clicking on the Table option on the Insert tab. A menu will appear. Drag the mouse over the table grid to select the number of columns and rows you want in the table. Okay, let's discuss about entering data in a table. After inserting table in a slide, follow the steps given below to enter column headings or row entries. Place the mouse pointer in the first cell of the table and type heading. Press the tab key to take the insertion point to the next cell. Type heading for the next cell. Move the cursor to insert data in the other cells of the table using either the mouse or the tab or arrow keys. After typing data in the table, click anywhere outside the table. Students by pressing F5 or select slideshow tab from beginning. Students, let me give you a few tips related to entering data in a table. Number one, to edit data in a table, click on the cell to be modified and make changes in it. Number two, to insert new rows in a table. Place the cursor in a cell. Click the right mouse button. A shortcut menu appears. Select the insert option and click either on the insert rows above or insert rows below sub option. You can also select any of the options from the layout tab. Number three, to apply different background colors. Select the table by clicking anywhere on its border. Click on Shape Fill button in the Drawing group on Home tab. Select a color of your choice. Number 4. To delete a row or a column from a table, select the row or column you wish to delete. Click on the Delete button in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab. Select the required option. Before we move further, Quickly tell me, how will you insert a new row in a table?
Now let us talk about table tools. When you insert a table in PowerPoint 2010, a new tab, Table Tools appears. You will find various tools and commands present on its design and layout tabs, such as border, shading, draw table, table styles, merge cells, split cells, etc. These tools are helpful while formatting a table in the slide. Let us understand about formatting a table style. First, let me explain you table styles. When you insert a table, PowerPoint automatically applies the table styles to the table. You can view various styles in the table styles group on the design tab under the table tools tab. To apply a table style, first select the table. Click on the design tab to access all the table styles and other options in this tab. Hover the cursor over any table style to see its live preview on the slide. Click on the more drop down arrow of the table styles group to view all the options. Click on the desired style to select it. Ok students, let us know more. To apply table effects, select the rows or columns. In the table tools tab, click on the design tab. Then go to table style group. Then go to effects option. Let me tell you how to change table shading. Select the table. Click on the design tab. Select the rows or column that you want to modify. Click the shading option in the table styles group and select any color of your choice. You can also select any other option from the drop down list of shading command. Now let me tell you how to apply a border. Microsoft PowerPoint allows you to add border to a table. Border helps to improve the appearance of a table. Select the cells or rows or columns you want to modify. Click on the drop down arrow next to the borders button in the table styles group on the design tab. Select the all borders option from the drop down menu. Border will be applied on the selected rows and columns. Let's know more. To change the thickness of the border line, select the table. Under the table tools tab, click on the design tab, then go to draw borders group. Pen Weight Tool. Select any border width from the drop down list. The pointer changes to Pencil Tool. Drag the pointer over the border line and release the button. Now we will talk about border color. The pen color tool is used to change the cells or rows of or columns border color. Select the table. Click on the pen color button in the draw borders group on the design tab. A color palette appears. Choose the required color. The mouse pointer changes to pencil shape. Click on the border whose color you wish to change or simply drag the mouse on the cell border and release the button. The line color will be changed. Now let's move on to the border style. This tool is very helpful in changing the line style of a table. Select the table and click on the pen style list box on the design tab under the table tools tab. A drop down menu appears. Select the required style. The mouse pointer changes to pencil. Place the mouse pointer on any border of the table and click on it or drag the mouse pointer on it. Observe the change. Students note the fact to erase a line of a table, click on the eraser tool in the drawing borders group on the design tab of table tools tab. Position the mouse pointer on the line that you want to erase and click on it.